We tend to think about the French Revolution when we celebrate French culture, but we tend to leave out how dramatically it impacted America. It had a major impact on America's politics by leading to the rise of political parties. It led to Franco-American tensions and gave America a chance to grow to a major world power. To understand the French Revolution's impact, we need to know what actually happened. In 1789, Parliament hears people who don't want to have their current king because he seems to be a bad king. In 1790, of it, there is voted to be a constitutional monarchy. In 1791, Louis XVI flees, but is caught. In 1792, revolutionaries start attacking. In 1793, Louis XVI dies, and the reign of terror begins. In 1794, there begins an official war, and Christianity is abolished. In 1795, Napoleon helped stop the protests in Paris. In 1796, the protests are concluded. The Battle of Arcole makes Napoleon more famous. In 1798, Napoleon moves to e get stationed in Egypt, and his fame grows even more. In 1799, Napoleon returns, and the revolution is over. America was founded with an intent of there being no political parties. George Washington said political parties were bad because they let unprincipled persons, quote, subvert the power of the people, unquote. However, many is split as to whether or not to support France. Prominent figures in this were Thomas Jefferson, Francis ha Alexander Hamilton, and or John Adams at the time, especially in the 1800 election. In 1793, George Washington declared America to be neutral in this war. France didn't like, however, that they told that America told England first. And they sent ships to take any American ship with Britain goods, declaring them pirates. America sent people named X, Y, and Z to change this. They, however, France tried to charge an insane amount of money. All the while, they were both in a quasi-war, which means not declared unofficial. These led to heightening Franco-American tensions. This was also helped by citizen Jeanette. Jeanette had been sent to the United States of America to gather support from the, for the French regime, said Aaron Sutter. George Washington was imposing and disliked this and had a, had a meeting with Jeanette. The previously mentioned X, I, Z, E, people who they tried to meet with tried to charge five million dollars an hour in today's money, with another twelve or so million dollar loan. At that time, they charged this because he charged this because he was a large supporter of the war. He started off as a cardinal, then he changed to a rev he supported the revolutionaries. In total, he actually switched sides more than anyone else in the war. Always right before or the change in power. After the war on his deathbed, he apologized to all the living he betrayed. There was still a quasi-war all the while. The weakening in Europe helped America, however, become a world power. The Louisiana Purchase was a great expansion. French was, the French were very poor after the war, and we had land in America.
the headland in America. They sell, sold it to America at around three cents an acre at the time. The expansion of the land turned to an expansion of number of people. France lost control of much foreign land. Thomas Jefferson said the Louisiana Purchase was good because, quote, quote, the larger our association, he meant the USA, the less it will be shaken by local passions. This is exactly what they needed to develop to a great nation. And this wouldn't have worked without the weakening in Europe to make them a greater nation, uh, the Franco-American and the Franco-American tensions and the rise of American political parties were all helped by the French Revolution. Thank you.